The government of St. Lucia has approved amendments to the COVID-19 prevention and control regulations. Effective Friday, 25th June 2021 until Tuesday, 31st August 2021. The decisions by the Cabinet of Ministers have been taken following consultation with the Command Center and based on data related to the number of active COVID-19 cases in St. Lucia. The Government of St. Lucia continues to encourage all St. Lucians to get vaccinated and to follow the protocols in order to further decrease the spread of COVID-19. The Government of St. Lucia is mindful of the sectors impacted by COVID-19 and anticipates that the latest measures will assist the transportation, food and beverage and events sector, as well as linkage industries. The latest measures are as follows. The curfew is adjusted to 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. daily. Faith-based organizations may hold special religious rites, including weddings, baptisms and funerals, with a maximum of 100 persons in attendance. Graduations and school leaving ceremonies are permitted based on square footage of the building and in keeping with all established COVID-19 protocols. Social events with up to 150 fully vaccinated persons are permitted after authorization through the Ministry of Health and Wellness and the Commissioner of Police. A public omnibus operator is permitted to carry up to three passengers per row. A person with a valid liquor license under the Liquor License Act, Cap 13.17, that offers for sale or disposes of intoxicating liquor only shall be permitted to operate from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. Returning nationals and visitors with a negative PCR test and who are fully vaccinated will not require quarantine. Random testing will be done at all arrival points. Notwithstanding, the CMO retains the power to place visitors in quarantine in order to protect public health. The government is also pleased to announce the resumption of inter-island ferry services Martinique to St. Lucia with effect from the 1st of July 2021. The public is further advised that all public health measures such as mandatory mask wearing in public, social distancing, washing and sanitizing of hands remain in place. As the government continues to strengthen the public health system, it urges the public to act responsibly and ask for the full cooperation in the safe implementation of the new measures in place. Persons are urged and encouraged to take advantage of the vaccination drive to protect themselves, their family and the wider society.